Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's third grade math test prep problem, we will be di we will be discussing place value in expanded form. If you would like to follow along as we go through the problem, there will be a link in the description box where you can click it to download the worksheet. Let's get started. The number 2,406 written in word form is 2,406. How do you write the number in expanded form? A is 2,000 plus 400 plus 10 plus 6. B is 2,000 plus 400 plus 60. C is 2,000 plus 400 plus 6 and D is 2,000 plus 40 plus 6. What are we looking for? We are looking to find how to write 2,406 in expanded form. Let's see if there are any problems we can cross out. Remember, whenever you are solving a problem and it's multiple choice, take a moment, once you figure out what you're trying to find, take a moment to see if there are any obvious wrong answers that you can cross out. Crossing out wrong answers before you begin to solve it will help increase your chance of getting the problem right. So let's take a look. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight 2000 in yellow, 400 in pink, and 6 in gray. Okay, let's look at answer choice A. Do we have 2000? Yes, we have that highlighted in yellow. 400? Yes, we do. But if you'll look, we have 10, but well, there's not a 10 in our number. So we're going to highlight 10 in red because in our written form we do not have a 10 in the number okay we have a 6 yes so we'll highlight that in gray let's look at B yes we do have 2000 we'll highlight that in yellow we do have a 400 as well we'll highlight that in pink but we don't have 60 our problem says 6 so we highlight that 60 because that's incorrect our answer should not have a 60 in it okay let's look at C we have 2000 we'll highlight that in yellow 400 yes we'll highlight that in pink and 6 we'll highlight in gray okay Let's look at D. So we know that C is possibly a correct answer. Let's look at D. D does have 2,000. It's highlighted in yellow, but it has 40. And in our problem, again, in our written form, we do not have a 40. Our problem or our number, not our problem, our number says 400. So let's highlight 40 in red because that's incorrect and then yes we have six so we'll highlight that in gray so based on this information we know that we can cross out a B and D those three are incorrect answers okay and another word for uh, incorrect is wrong okay wrong is a synonym for incorrect okay we can cross out a B and D and just like that we've increased our chances of finding the right answer well since there's only one answer left it'll be pretty easy if you guessed the answer choice is C you are correct based on what our word form is and the highlighted colors and also the answer choices C is the correct answer. 2000 is highlighted in yellow, check. 400 is highlighted in pink, check. 6 is highlighted in gray, 
check. So we have all of the numbers in expanded form that we have in our word form. Okay, so we know that C is the correct answer. Let's do a similar problem like this one. The number 1,240 written in word form is 1,240. How do you write the number in expanded form? What are we looking for? We are looking for the number that is written in expanded form for 1,240. Let's look at our answer choices, okay? So A says 1,000 plus 200 plus 40. B is 1,000 plus 200 plus 4. C is 1,000 plus 200 plus 20 plus 4 and D is 1000 plus 20 plus 4 okay and again we are looking for the correct answer that has the word form 1240 in expanded form let's see if there are any answers that we can cross out that are incorrect and another word for incorrect is what if you said wrong, you are correct. <laughs> wrong is a synonym or the same meaning as incorrect. All right, so let's go through and we're going to highlight our word form and then we're going to match those with our answer choices. So 1000 is highlighted in yellow. 200 is highlighted in pink and 40 is highlighted in gray. Let's look at answer choice A. Is 1000 highlighted in yellow? Yes. 200 highlighted in pink? Yes. 40 highlighted in gray? Yes. So A could possibly be our answer, but let's look at the other answer choices too just to see if we can cross those out. Okay? For B, we have 1,000 is highlighted in yellow. Yes, that is correct. But look, it says 400. But in our word form, in the hundreds place, we have 200. So 400 is incorrect, and we can um, highlight that in red because we know that is wrong. Okay? Plus 40 in gray. Yes, 40 is correct. At, let's look at C. We've highlighted 1,000. Yes, that's correct. 200 is in pink. That's correct. We have 20. Well, no, our, our, our word doesn't say 20. Our number isn't doesn't have a 20 in it. So we'll highlight that in red. And also, it doesn't have a 4. So we'll highlight that in red as well. Okay? Looking at D... Well, D starts off with 100, but our number starts off with 1,000. So we can go ahead and highlight 100 in red because that's wrong. It does have a 200, but look at also, it, it, it says 4, and that's incorrect. So we've highlighted red as well. Based on that information, we know that we can cross out answer choices B, C and D because those three answer choices have something that does not match our number okay and what answer choice do we have left a do you see how taking the moment to cross out the wrong answers before you start solving it increases your chance of getting the problem right okay a is our correct answer 1,000 is in yellow, check. 200 is in pink, check. 40 is in gray, check. So A, we know, is our correct answer. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. Okay? For more information on third grade math test prep videos, go to our website www.hypemath.com. Talk to you soon.